Hello there guys and welcome to this X-Plane 11 video. Today we're going to be taking a look at a feature of X camera called airport cameras. Airport cameras allows video makers to create very compelling cinematic sequences. In this video we are going to be taking a look at the basic setup, how to create the airport cameras and how to create the sequences. For the purposes of our tutorial today I have placed the default Cessna 172 at Southampton Airport in the United Kingdom. The prerequisite to this video is that you have X camera already installed and that you are familiar with how to map the X camera functions to your joystick or keyboard buttons. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to bring up the control panel and to do this we're going to go ahead and select this um, option here. It says retain mouse look position. Now what this does is that you, it will enable you to use your mouse wheel uh, control to pan through the aircraft. As you can see, I can pan similar to what you use with the um, right mouse button uh, without X camera to, to pan around the view. And there are a few controls that we need to map. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my settings and show you exactly what has been mapped. Uh, now this is the function SRS and uh, this is Stick and Rudder Studios. Under that we have X Camera. Now one important assignment that we need is this one here, which toggles between airport camera and aircraft camera. Um, they are completely separate, so it will not work with using the next category uh, control. Uh, I have Alt and A to switch between uh, the airport camera and the aircraft camera and when we go to the joystick assignment let's go here alright so I have several um, controls I'm not going to show you exactly what I've done here but I'm going to show you what assignments I've made so this number four um, control um, going down it will toggle the walk mode uh, this is very very important and very useful feature Moving up, it will move the camera with the mouse in rotate pitch fashion. Going to the um, left, uh, it's going to move the camera with the mouse in the left, right, up, down fashion. And going to the right, it's going to move the camera with the mouse in the left, right, forward, back fashion. We'll take a look at what those do in, in a moment. So these are the basic control that I have. I also have the other hat switch here, number five doing the following. Moving it up will to toggle the control panel on or off. Moving it down will toggle X camera on or off. The left position will select the next camera in the current category and moving it to the right will select the next view category. All right. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to create the airport views. But before we do so, let me show you what these functions actually do. So if I go to the right now, to the left, I can move in this fashion, upwards and downwards. If I move it to the right, I can move in this fashion, forward and backward. And the downward position will enable walk, um, walk mode. Uh, so if I enable it, and I start moving the, uh, the controls now. As you can see, it will just keep going. There you go. And this is particularly useful um, if you are doing um, you know, a video and you wanna do a walk around through the aircraft. It's kind of an automated walkthrough. It will uh, simply go in the direction that you specify and it will keep doing so. Um, very, very useful, and we'll see how we are going to use this to create um, airport cameras as well and sequences using this feature. Uh, a very nice feature in X camera. Okay, so what we're going to do next is we are going to create the airport cameras. So the first thing uh, we're going to do is we're going to bring back the control panel, right? So this is the control panel, and if you look up here, there is a button that says airport cameras, okay? So we're going to select airport cameras. We are now in um, airport camera mode and we're going to click on the generate airport cameras. Now you can create your own, but using this function is very useful because it will create 
um, a camera position at every um, gate or parking spot available in your scenery file, it will also generate um, a couple of uh, um, cameras for the runways. So each runway will have two cameras for each direction and it will do so automatically. You can also specify the height of the camera. So we're going to click on generate airport cameras. And as you can see, uh, we now have, uh, let me see here. We now have the runways, horizontal, vertical, starting positions, signs. Uh, this is the radius uh, that you want in meters, the camera position offset in meters. Um, forward facing starting position camera. I'm going to go ahead and select that. And it says create airport targets. Okay, uh, that's again very nice if you are um, filming a takeoff or landing. Uh, this proves very useful and creates for very, very compelling scenes. What we're going to do is we're going to um, click on create cameras. All right. Now, as you can see, we have three categories that have been created starting locations, viewpoints, and runways. Okay. Let's go and move to the starting locations. And as you can see, there are 10 cameras that have been created. Now you can cycle through these here. All right. Or you could use your next category, next camera in the category. So we'll do that here, for example. As you can see, we can cycle through um, the different uh, positions. Um, or we could go to the next category. So this is, for example, the uh, this is, these are the two runways available at Southampton Airport. All right. Okay. So what we'll do now is we're going to start creating sequences. And as you can see, we're going to start with this. Now we don't need all these positions. So we don't definitely don't need to create the sequences for all the positions, but we'll create them for some. Okay. Let's bring back, bring back the control panel. We are at gate two. This is the first camera position. And we're going to select a couple of options here. One says linear transition, auto advance to next camera, and enable smooth camera joints. Okay. Now the transition in seconds is very, very important. Uh, I'm going to select 10, but you might need to actually play with this number a little bit uh, to create the desired effect. So we're done now with this first um, gate or the first camera view. We're going to go to the second one and we're going to ex select exactly the same options, enable linear transition, auto advance, enable smooth camera joints, and we're going to enter transition seconds to be 10. And now we're going to move to the next one. So this is the third position, enable linear, auto, smooth camera joints, transition is 10 seconds. And now we're going to say save all. Now, if you go back, as you can see, you can see the sequence now and how the camera actually moves. Um, and this is how you'd create uh, those really beautiful cinematic sequences. So what we can do here is we can change, as you can see now, I'm changing the, uh, uh, we can go up maybe. Uh, we can go slightly in. And we can change the, we can make it so that it's uh, further down here. And we can go there. All right. And we'll say save all. And now if we go back to the camera position, as you can see, the sequence has completely changed or the actual cinematic has changed because now the camera has to move upwards towards the next position. All right. So what we'll do now is we're going to create some more uh, of those transitions. Uh, this is uh, camera four and we're going to add um, smooth uh, linear advance enable and we're going to add 10 seconds for the transition and we're going to say save. And we can actually delete the rest. Uh, let's go to camera five. So we're going to delete camera five. And we're going to delete, uh, we'll leave that one. And we're going to add smooth linear 
uh, lean, oh, sorry, linear auto enable with 10 seconds. And we're gonna move to camera six. That one we, are, we don't need. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and delete. Uh, six, we're gonna delete. Camera seven is the one that we are going to use. And again, we're gonna add linear transition, enable auto advanced camera, enable smooth camera, and we'll add 10 seconds to that as well. And we're gonna say save. Let us now take a look at the sequence that we've created. And uh, we started from the last camera position all the way to camera number one. And as you can see now, the sequence um, is very smooth. It looks very nice. It shows you the airport. And of course, you can always add um, a, um, you know, some kind of music to uh, make the uh, scene or the uh, video more dramatic. Again, and, and those uh, smooth, um, you know, camera movements or the transition between one camera to the other is the um, smooth camera joints. If you remove that, you might get a short pause uh, between the, uh, the different camera views. Okay, and now we're moving to the last camera position um, that we've created. And again, you don't need uh, to have um, a, a camera for each and every gate position. You just need the very first gate and the last gate uh, in a row, um, and that should take care of it. Uh, otherwise, you're going to have to create just way too many camera views. All right, we're going to do the same thing now, but with the runways. Uh, so we have the category selected as runway, and we're going to use the both cameras one and two. As you can see, I have selected now Linear transition, auto advance, smooth camera joints, similar to what we've done uh, with the gate positions. And we're going to go to the next camera, which is runway uh, 20. And as you can see now, a very nice transition into um, the far end of uh, the runway, uh, runway 2 and runway 20. There you go. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to increase the... Um, the transition time to about 25 all right and we're going to go to runway 2 and change that to 25 and say save all and let's take a look now there you go again a very nice scene and of course you can always add X life um, for aircraft so you can see aircrafts you know taxing on the uh, taxiway or um, uh, on the runway and you can always take off from your with your favorite aircraft and then create a replay um, to uh, you know create a dramatic scene here as we can see now we're going back the next thing I want to show you is how to use the walk around mode uh, to create those really nice sequences as well now the walk around mode is especially useful uh, when you're actually taking a look at the aircraft, similar to what I've showed you in the beginning of the video. But you can actually use it uh, as well. For example, we are here at the, uh, uh, at the runway, runway 20. And I'm going to enable the walk around mode. And I'm going to start moving the mouse. And as you can see now, we started moving very slowly. And we can actually move in any direction we want. So I'm going to start doing... Uh, here, let's do this. So a little bit of tilt. And we're going to do this as well. Now we can see that we are changing direction. And this is particularly useful again if you want slow motion camera to just kind of, you know, go through uh, a certain area. And now, as you can see, we started moving. This is the walk around mode. Now, the walk around mode is uh, is most useful, of course, when you're doing, um, you know, the aircraft uh, walk around around the aircraft. But you can also use it uh, to create a slow motion camera uh, in you know a direction of your preference uh, to create again some very dramatic scenes. Let me show you just very quickly um, how does this work for the aircraft. So if I click Alt and A. 
I'm back into the aircraft cameras and, and if I click Alt and A again, I will go back to the airport cameras. So let me show you very quickly what the walk around mode looks like when you are um, looking at an aircraft. So this is, this is exactly what this does um, as we move uh, here. So it will just simply move the camera in the direction that you specify, as you can see here. And we can do this now. Again, a very useful feature if you are doing a walk around. You can always, of course, create different camera views and create sequences uh, similar to what we did with the airport cameras. Uh, but this is, again, available to you if uh, you just simply want to um, talk about the aircraft and just have the camera pan around it in, in slow motion. Uh, you can do that uh, very easily with the walk around mode. It's very nice, very smooth. Uh, X camera is a very powerful plugin uh, for X Plane 11. I sure do hope that they will work on the interface uh, because it is a little bit complicated um, as we speak now. Uh, but hopefully, with time, it will um, it will improve. Uh, especially the user interface, I think, needs needs some work to make it a little modern, to make it a little more usable and uh, user friendly. But by far the most powerful camera plugin for x 11. Well, folks, this is pretty much what I wanted to share with you in this video. I hope that this was a useful and insightful video. If you have any questions, please do post them in the comments section below. Until next time, please take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you all very soon. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye for now.